Hey guys, I want to share with you a very powerful prophetic word that I I got about a week ago in in prayer, and I was praying, and, and the Lord spoke this word to me, and I was kind of like, all right, Lord, that's not generally what you speak to me, and so I've just kind of been sitting on this word for about a week, and just kind of really praying into the this word, and then today I really felt just a strong unction by the Holy Spirit to share this word. And the word I heard was the bankrupt protester. And so I was asking the Lord uh, just about this word for a week. And when I get a word, a lot of times I'll, I'll start taking notes on the word and how God reveals things to me. And one of the things that I've noticed on social media over the last week, I guess it kind of shows us where America is at and even, you know, the nations of the world. But like you'll see every morning, like we need to protest this organization, this clothing line, this restaurant. We need to protest this political party. We need to protest this. We need to protest that. Everybody unfollow this. Everybody unfollow that. And I was like, the whole, it seems like almost everybody is wanting to, to protest somebody about something. The unique thing about society, humanity, and human beings is we're all so different, okay? Maturity is when you can disagree and still function together, okay? So when I got this word, I was really praying about it. And the first thing, when you hear the title, you know, what the Lord gave me, the bankrupt protester, you would think about all of the, the protests it's all over the news and the social media feeds. And I think that part of it is that, but even the Lord was showing me that it's just not bankrupt, that a lot of people are going to press their opinion right now in society so hard that yes, they will bankrupt their self financially, but they will bankrupt their self with the influence God has given them. They will bankrupt. I've even heard the Lord say he's, that some people will actually bankrupt their family. And here was the saddest one that some people will be so frustrated when this season is over that they would actually bankrupt love. And if you love God and you love his people, you know, you really need to take heed according to this, this word right here that the Lord gave me. And the if you look at it, the, the bankrupt protester, it seems like everybody's protesting something. I have never seen a, a time that an election was just so just so nasty and dirty. And I, I pray that, that there'll be a time in, in America that we can have elections and it's just not about just mudslinging and trying to Sometimes people may fabricate stuff and try to pull dirt on one another, but it, but it is actually, I, I just believe that there's, there's better for America. Matthew 6 and 10 says, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I can guarantee you the America that I see is not the mere image of what heaven has. And this is where I want to dive into this word. And this is where I need you to really focus on Holy Spirit. I, I know great men and women of God. And this is what gets me. They will be trying to prove their point on issues. It may be racial issues, political issues. I see people arguing over sports apparel. I see people arguing over restaurants and different things but they are so dogmatic in their belief that they think the other one is 100% in the wrong. Well, somewhere in there, somebody is wrong, okay? Who is right? God is right. So what I'm challenging you and wanting you to do is focus in on God. Your kingdom come, whose kingdom? My kingdom? No. Your kingdom? No. Whose kingdom? God's kingdom. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Okay, wait a minute. If it's God's kingdom and it's God's will being done, what if it goes against what I believe? Now, I don't know about you, but I'm 46 years young and I've been voting for a long time. Do you know not every person that I've voted for has made the White House? I thought I was voting for the right person. You know, in life, you're going to learn that not everything you believe is right. How do I know that? Because the Bible says that there is nobody perfect on this planet. No, not one. So nobody has the perfect right theology. 
Nobody has the right political view. You know, it says in 1 Corinthians 14, 33, it says, there is no confusion in the name of God, but only peace. So if you look at protest, there, there's a lot of people protesting, but what I'm saying is you have two sides protesting and they are so dogmatic and it could be on anything. I mean, I know people, I saw somebody that I, I kind of know, they were protesting about being a vegan the other day. And then I see people, I was walking in a store the other day and I had an old three year old pair of shoes because it was raining, it was kind of dirty. And they said, I can't believe you're wearing those type of shoes. I said, man, they're shoes. Someone gave me these shoes three years ago. They're old, dirty shoes. I'm not going to wear my brand new shoes out on a nasty, rainy day. I was at a coffee shop the other day. I went through the drive through Somebody texted me. I can't believe you went to that coffee shop. Do you know what they believe in? I said, I don't read up on it a whole lot, but I do know one thing. They make an amazing cup of coffee. And if you come back tomorrow at the same time, there's a good chance you'll see me driving through there again. And so here's the thing. Live your life where you can't be offended. Live your life where you can't be offended. And this is the whole point of the whole word. This is the whole point God gave me over the whole word. The bankrupt protester. That there would be some people that would completely go bankrupt in this season. I, and when I felt the word, I felt it was, you know, the next hundred days. But that was a few days ago. So I'm going to say the next 90 days, people are going to go bankrupt. There will be some people that are so focused on making sure what they believe is right, they will fund all of their money. They will fund, they will spend trying to push their agenda. I know people who buy billboards over silly stuff trying to push their agenda. Now, there are big agendas in America that need to be dealt with. But what I'm saying is if you have a friend who believes a little differently than you, you know, do not let something small break up a friendship, okay? We're better together. And so the word that, that was really strong was the bank up, the bankrupt protester that some people were going to bankrupt their friendships. And the main word I heard was love. They were going to lose love in their heart for people because people did not believe the way they believed. I remember one of the craziest things I was at, at church. This is years ago. But I remember two guys started to verbally yell at one another in the foyer of a church. And I ran out there. They were red face in each other's face. Do you know what they were griping about? College football. Yelling, top of the lungs. I had to pull them apart. College football. They lost their friendship over it. You know, I'm telling you, there's a lot of bigger issues than that about which team you like. There's a lot of political issues in America. There's a lot of racial tension in America, you know, but here's what I'm saying. This is what the word is about. You better make sure, you better make sure what you are fighting for and what you are standing for, you have heard from heaven. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Whose will? God's will. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You know, there's been times I've been doing something in my life and I would say, God, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven is what I'm doing right now, your will. And the Lord say, no, it was a past season. I have shut ministries down. I have shut businesses down because it was an old season. Listen, the world's changing. Things are always changing. Do not bankrupt yourself because of an ideology you have or a mindset that may have been last season or your mindset may even be broken. I remember about a year ago, I was talking to a guy and I was, you know, I was, I was thinking one way on a situation where he enlightened me and I, on something, I said, man, that's a, that's a different way of thinking. And it shifted my mindset. So I want to encourage you today. Don't go bankrupt. And yes, this word is about money. There are some people that are so focused on their agenda, they will spend their life savings to try to prove a point. Like I said, this is from the Lord right here. Listen to me. You better make sure you have your opinions aligned with what God is saying right now. His will is going to be done. And this is something the Lord spoke to me. 
Some people are fighting and kicking against an immovable wall, a wall that will not be moved. They are fighting against the word of the Lord. When the word of the Lord comes, you better make sure. Now, let me express one more thing. I was talking to one of my realtor friends the other day, and he said, man, it's August, and I've already doubled my best year ever. I've never seen business. My wife and I were health coaches. Our business has grown 500% in the last five months. So when people are online and they're talking about 2020 is a horrible year, not for, for a lot of businesses, it's not. For a lot of businesses, it may be. But my prophetic word from the Lord for 2020 was focus. The world has gotten noisy, loud, and crazy. You have to focus in on what the Lord is saying. And I felt the Lord tell me to stay focused during this time. Friends, I don't know where you're at. Please hear my heart. Make sure you are aligned with what heaven is saying. And if you are aligned with what heaven is saying, you are going to be okay. Things may not work out the way that you want them to. I mean, really, do they ever? <laughs> Things may not look like the way that you think it's going to look. But I'm telling you, if you focus on God and you focus in on what the Lord is saying, you're going to be okay. You need to focus on God because when you focus on God, he's going to get you through the storm. A phrase God gave me years ago. He said, always say this, when the storm is over, I'll still be standing. And so I want to offer prayer to anybody who wants prayer. My heart is for society and humanity to be able to come together, that political parties, they may disagree on a lot of things, but they put America first. Uh, my heart is for unity amongst ethnic backgrounds. And, and I, I'm just praying that America is going to become as powerful as I know that this, this nation can be. And even the, the, the nations of the world, the people from the other nations watching this, I'm telling you, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for your nation. You can go to my website, jojodawson.net. You can, there's a place on the contact connect, send me your prayer request. If you're from other nations, name your nation. I want to pray for you. Listen, I want to pray right now for people. So send me that. Um, also, I just, I just really believe that this is a season that we need to focus on what God is saying. One of my mentors said, sometimes you need to turn the news off. You need to tap into what God is saying, because I don't want any of my friends or people that I don't know. I just love people. I don't want anybody I know to be bankrupt because they're protesting the wrong thing. Remember, like I said, the Lord spoke to me and said, some people are fighting against an immovable wall, and that wall is my word. When God states his word and he says something. So I'll give you a practice that I do because I'm, I'm real practical. I like to give people practical things. When something frustrates me, I'm like, all right, Lord, is this you or do I need to pray into this fast? What do I need to do? Because I want to make sure I am always on the Lord's side. And a lot of times in life, I remember one time when I was younger, I was, I was standing up for something. I was fighting for something. And the Lord said, you're not fighting on my side. I'm not on the side you're fighting for. And I said, oh, okay. And as soon as I allowed the Lord to transform my mind, I saw clearly. And I just believe that clarity and insight from the Lord is coming to everybody today. So I hope this word blessed you. Listen, the bankrupt protester, do not protest things that is not the will of the Lord. And I felt the Lord say, anything that is not my will, will not, will not succeed moving forward and in this next season. So don't wear yourself out. Don't go bankrupt fighting against the Lord. I hope this video encouraged you, helped you, challenged you, and let's start praying for America and the nations of the world more than we ever have been. Love y'all. God bless.